anti-war protesters chanting ahead of a statement from John Chilcott into the causes of Britain's involvement in the Iraq war. More than 200 British citizens died as a result of the conflict in Iraq. Many more were injured. This has meant deep anguish for many families, including those who are here today. The retired civil servant said that the UK chose to join the invasion of Iraq before peaceful options for disarmament had been exhausted. Also resulted. He said that the UK government under former Prime Minister Tony Blair urged Parliament to vote in favour of joining the Iraq war when the legal basis for UK military action was far from satisfactory. Chilcott also said that the threat posed by Iraq's weapons of mass destruction were presented with certainty that was not justified. The report published today is more than two and a half million words long and has taken seven years to produce. Chilcott also referenced a memo sent from Blair to Bush in July 2002, eight months before the invasion of Iraq, in which he says, I will be with you whatever, adding that he was keen on a coalition not necessarily military, but politically. By January 2003, Blair concluded that the likelihood was war. Reacting to the release of the Chilcot report on Wednesday were relatives of some of the 179 British soldiers killed in Iraq, including Roger Bacon, who lost his son. We were proud when our husbands, sons and daughters signed up to serve our country. We must use this, but we cannot be proud of the way our government has treated them. We must use this report to make sure that all parts of the Iraq war fiasco are never repeated again, neither in a theatre of war nor in the theatre of Whitehall. In the meantime, in Iraq, residents in the capital of Baghdad spoke to Associated Press about the inquiry's findings. This man, Ali al Saraji, said that Tony Blair should be punished. In a statement, Blair said that the decision to engage in military action in Iraq was taken in good faith and what he believed to be in the best interests of the country. What are you apologising for today? For the mistakes. But what mistakes? What are the mistakes no, 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 that the, you acknowledge? The mistakes on planning and process I absolutely acknowledge. And I accept responsibility and I'm not passing responsibility to off to someone else. I accept full responsibility for those mistakes. But it's not inconsistent with that to still say that I believe we took the right decision.